Browns at Bengals. Paycor Stadium, 1 o'clock. The Browns have clinched the number five seed. The Bengals are out of the playoffs, so uh, no implications playoff-wise in this game. But still, things to watch and our predictions. Mary Kay, what are you watching? You know, one of the things I'd really like to watch in this game are the young receivers. They're going to need these guys. Amari Cooper is not playing in this game. Elijah Moore coming off of a concussion. He's questionable. He may play. He may not play. Uh, but it's time for young guys such as David Bell and Cedric Tillman to step up because they're going to need those guys in the playoffs. If teams decide they're going to try to minimize Amari Cooper, somebody else has got to step up. We've seen that Cedric Tillman has had some issues with Joe Flacco where Joe's thrown some interceptions intended for Cedric Tillman. So he's got to kind of put on the big boy pants and, and be ready for this big moment. This will be a big game for him. Ashley, what are you watching? I'm curious about this battle of the backups amongst the quarterbacks. So we know Cincinnati's going to have Jake Browning, who had won some big games for them, I think. They've maybe run out of steam here a little bit. Uh, and then for the Browns, it's Jeff Driscoll, who they just brought in. And I know he's a guy we're curious about, or Lance Reisland, when studying film of him, said he maybe can't get the ball down the field passing-wise like Joe Flacco can. But I think, Dan, you're also curious about this. Is this an audition for him to maybe be their backup quarterback in those playoffs for Joe Flacco because it doesn't seem like they want to just hand that job to P.J. Walker. Now, I'm going to be watching some other games. Uh, there's two games that really matter to the Browns. The first is Saturday night when Houston plays at Indianapolis. The winner of that game makes the playoffs. However, if Jacksonville, who plays at 1 o'clock on Sunday, loses... The winner of that Saturday night game wins the South, and that's where the Browns are going. If Jacksonville wins, the Browns are going to Jacksonville to open the playoffs. So those are the two games that really matter to Browns fans. It's Colts-Texans on Saturday night, and then Jaguars-Titans on Sunday afternoon at the same time as Browns-Bengals. My prediction for this game, I just think Browns backups going against Bengals starters. I think it's going to be enough for the Bengals to win this game 18-14. to Ashley, what about you? I'm kind of thinking along the same wavelength right now, Dan. I haven't done my written prediction yet, which I need to do when we get back inside, but I do just think we've kind of seen this before where the Browns are out of it. They play their starters and they win that last game and go off on a high note. So I'm going to go Bengals 19, Browns 17. Mary Kay, what about you? You know, I'm very torn in this game because I believe that the Browns backups are probably good enough to beat the Bengals right now. I don't know. I feel like they have so much momentum. And Kevin Stefanski is 6-1 and one against the Bengals. Uh, he has said numerous times they want to go down and win this game and finish strong. So there's part of me that thinks the Browns are somehow going to pull this out. But I went with a Bengals victory. Uh, you know, you've got a guy like Trey Hendrickson trying to, uh, you know, set the team. Well, I don't know if it's the team sack record, but win the sack title. He's currently tied for first right now with T.J. Watt. You've got Jamar Chase who wants to play in this game. So uh, I went with the Bengals 24 to 17. All right, there you go. Our picks for this game, and then it's on to the wild card round. We will have full coverage of everything that happens at Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati, all at cleveland.com slash Browns.